Hello everyone, it's Grimgar again. It's Friday and it's time for another tour of one of the Summertown buildings. Today we're going to take a look at the very first building that was ever built in Summertown, the main manor. We haven't really come up with any specific name for this place. It's just a giant mansion and it was built in the middle of a desert back in 2018, I believe. So we're going on two years now. I've probably told you a few times that I've been playing this server for three years, but it's probably more like two and a half years. We started building this manor and kind of gave up on it for a while, including the roof, as you can see in the picture. But eventually we decided to finish it, and it is a very eclectic mishmash of things. It has gone through several iterations, models, and this final product is not so final because it is also subject to changes. I actually started remodeling it yesterday. I got to do something I haven't done in my Minecraft courting career yet, which is use the replay mod to do a quick time lapse. So really quickly, I'll show you the time lapse of my remodel build on this building behind me. And after that, we'll do the tour. If you like what you see, please subscribe and like the video. Well, I hope you liked Pig Step. Unfortunately, our server is not yet updated to the new 1.16.1 update. We're waiting for a paper and all of the different mod loaders to finish so we can put in the very light mods that we normally use. But without further ado, I'll take you on a tour through our house. This is actually a side entrance right here. This was originally built when we wanted to have access to this rail here, which takes you down to our creeper farm which is why we put up these creeper sandstone blocks. And if we go back this way to the main hallway, the basement is the Summertown storage area. This has been remodeled a few times. I will put some links in the description to some videos for some of the machines that are down here. In particular, this alchemy machine right here. This is actually Mumbo Jumbo's machine. He built this like six years ago. This is an automatic potion brewer. We can make a potion of fire resistance really quick. This storage system used to be very different. I recently remodeled it. I have made an area all for refined iron and diamond and andesite any kind of block that you would mine out of the earth. And over here is all the unrefined stuff, which I will show you how everything gets loaded into here. This is an automatic sorting system. Over here we have all of the diamond, gold, and iron items, miscellaneous tools, enchanted books, all in the same area. This is our enchanting station, and this is an extra storage for alchemical ingredients, potions that can't be brewed with the auto brewer, and all of the drinkable, splash, and lingering potions. Down here we have all of the colored carpets and glass organized nice and neat. The only problem I have here is reading some of these signs. That's a little bit hard to read, light gray. And all of the different decorative lighting blocks and item frame type things. Some saplings, leaves, grass, cacti, pumpkins, and melons. Moving on to the first floor, we have the main foyer area. And right here on the first floor is the place where you drop all of your mined items and shulkers. You can put them on top of these hoppers and these feed right into that system down below that I told you automatically uh, that automatically sorts all of the different things that you mine. And the two entrances to the bedrooms for the executives of Summertown, Lich Princess and Grimgar. I'll show you my bedroom. I decorated this a long time ago. It's a little bit sparse. Just some simple black carpet. Nice skull on fire and if we go up through this tower here you can see that i've decorated a little study this room is empty <laughs> and this is my attic hideaway oh look i believe that's corrales's head through here is the pantry and kitchen everything is labeled got a nice refrigerator here some smokers pretty traditional kitchen dining room as well and over here is the rail station this used to be its own separate thing it was attached to the mansion after the fact all of these rail stations take you to different areas of summertown in fact this one would take you to the industrial soviet the factory as it's also called and over here is the foyer the mudroom as i said before the administrative bedrooms 
We'll go into Dahlia's bedroom this time. She has also created a study. In fact, my design was copied from hers. But she hasn't finished her second and third level of the tower yet. Take you outside really quick to show you the swimming pool. This was one of the very first things we built over here, and I'm really glad that stairs work underwater now, that they actually get waterlogged. Take a dive. If we go up these stairs, you'll see that there is a hot tub over here. I like to come into here after swimming, get a little bit cold. If you look at the carpet, you can vaguely tell. What do you think that is? I kind of tried to make it look like a gas. I don't know if I did a good job. Over here is our pet endermite that we've trapped in here with glass. And there's this vast open area here. I kind of call this the ballroom. There's not a whole lot to do in here, except for just run around. And over on this wall, we have all of the levels of rocket flight that we need and extra paper and gunpowder in these chests. This is a favorite place to launch ourselves from. And we can see this beacon over here really quick. We'll fly around it and come back to the mansion. You get a nice outside view. You can see that I wasn't kidding when I said it was a very eccentric build. Ow. <laughs> that hurt. The third and final floor is really just an extra storage. We don't have anything in these barrels right now because I've resorted everything in the main inventory. But I think this floor will be for miscellaneous chests and crafting tables up here you can craft your banners and we have finished banners of things over in this chest lots of ominous banners from other raids and up here is just a, a lot of more extra storage there's actually one little area here that's a secret little hideaway you can look out the window see right there that there's a trap door we'll go out on top of the roof next <laughs> i love this sign it's easy access for maintenance for the roof in case we need to change any lighting or fix any issues and there's one final patio here you can see the hot tub hot tub from up above here and this is another little party space we haven't really figured out what we would do with this but it's kind of like the top of the tower it's a place to party this is one of the last remaining towers we didn't know what to do with it so we just left it as it is and that is pretty much it for the tour i hope you had a good time watching this and like what we've done here we are still building this place it's got a lot of little secret nooks and crannies and it is very eclectic but we like it if you have any advice on things that we could build in the empty areas please leave them in the comments and have a great friday